Oil prices have risen sharply in 2019 year to date. Now, the short term is we have upward price momentum and it's driven all by supply curtailment. Venezuela is imploding. It's a sad case, but they're not producing very much oil. Civil war in Libya has hit both the ports, limiting exports, as well as production capacity. The U.S. is using economic sanctions to try to drive Iranian production down. They're trying to force buyers such as China and India to look elsewhere for their oil. Saudi Arabia and Russia have curtailed production to lift prices, and they also stand to benefit from the U.S. economic war on Iran since China and India may buy some oil from the Saudis and the Russians. Now that's the short run. The long run paints a very different picture. Russia may start expanding production again soon. They need the money, they could use the money, they got plans for the money, they're gonna start expanding production. More oil will also be forthcoming from the United States. But don't rush. It won't happen immediately because there are a lot of logistical constraints on the ability to rapidly ramp up shale oil output. It just doesn't happen overnight, but it's gonna happen. Now, on the demand side, oil is mostly a transport fuel, and transportation of all kinds is becoming increasingly energy efficient. Now, what this means is that timing is everything. Short term, you have upward price momentum, but long term, this price surge may have more to go. But don't forget the powerful opposing forces. These long term forces are pointing to much more supply and less demand. I'm Blue Putnam, Chief Economist, CME Group.